Hey guys, it's Finn and in this video I'm going to show you how to get easy long shot medals in Black Ops 3. And to get a long shot medal, you have to kill an enemy with your weapon from far away. How far does it have to be? Depends on the weapon you're using. With a handgun, he doesn't need to be that far at all. With an SMG, he has to be a little further, but it's doable. With an assault rifle, the guy has to be a fucking mile away or something. So why do you need long shot medals? Well, you need them to get the golden camel for your weapon. After you've got 100 headshots, of course. And for assault rifles, it can be a pain in the ass to get long shot medals in Black Ops 3, especially because some of the maps are designed so that there are very few spots in the multiplayer where the enemy actually can be so far away from you, but still in your line of sight that you can actually get a long shot medal when you kill him. But fear not, my friend, I'm going to show you how to get them easily. No cheating included in this video. First of all, play hardcore game modes. Even if you're not really fond of them, just to get those long shot medals. Why? Because in hardcore game modes, people have less health. Your weapon will make less damage when you shoot the guy from far away, but in hardcore game modes it doesn't matter, they'll die after one or two bullets anyway, no matter how far they are. Second of all, find a well-known sniping slash head glitching spot from the map you play on and camp your ass out. I'm not personally fond of heavy camping, but it's just for those 10 long shot mills you need, right? Now, this part might be a little bit more difficult to do since some maps don't have long enough lines of sight where you can actually get long shot mills with assault rifles, but I can leave you a couple of map recommendations which do have long enough line of sight that you might want to remember when you play. First of all, this map Haunted. You can see me use this spot all the time. From this balcony to the wooden shack you can see down there and the area left to it. All kills will be long shot kills with assault rifles. Also work the other way around, from wooden shack to the balcony. By doing this, I got 6 long shot medals in this match only. Then we have a breach. In that map there are two buildings on opposite sides of the map with between them being the B flag when you play Domination. This is my favorite for long shot medals. Shoot at people from the upper floor of the building that has like a hole in it to the other building where people tend to hide behind that air conditioning unit or something like that. And vice versa. When I played this map the other day, I got all the required long shot medals using this strategy in just one game. Third map would be Infection. Not my favorite for long shot medals, but it is possible to get them since, again, you have two large buildings on the opposite side of the map with B flag again being in the middle of them if you play Domination. You have to shoot at people who are at the window of the other building while you are at the window of the church and it works the other way around as well. Finally, we have the map Fringe. I haven't tried this out myself, but I've heard people already say that you can actually get assault rifle long shots in this map as well. You have to go to the side of the map where the long rail is, and depending on which side of the rail you're on, you have to shoot people from the top of the van or from the top of the turbine to the other end of the rail. There might be more maps where you can get these easily, but these are the ones I'm familiar with. Just don't play Chaos Mosh Pit when you try to get long shot medals, it's never going to work. There we go, follow these instructions and you'll get those long shot medals in no time. I thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys later. Thank <laughs> you.